<laughs> well, but starting the recording now. I were just getting in. Okay. I just like up. Hey, guys. why, why, why? We are gathering our thoughts. <laughs> we just saw the Reliant because Cody. That movie. Because Co- it's Cody's birthday and he hates his friends, <laughs> <laughs> except for one who is just as brain damaged as he is. <laughs> there is Holy not enough alcohol shit. in the world. Spoiler alert: This movie is the most masterful, surreal. SNL comedy version of a of religious Dawn. propaganda film. Tony's making ever, it sound ever, funnier ever. than it I is. Wish. No, it's just Tony is making it sound. Minutes. There's no way to over hyperbolize the fucking reverse genius of Do this. Do you want more Jesus movie. in your Red Dawn? This is a. <laughs> <laughs> does, 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 uh, does Red Dawn not have enough Jesus with well, the guns? But also, you know, I wish this... kind of this movie had been made 50 years ago and oh uh, Christopher God. George was the Jack character and getting baptized. <laughs> oh! Dude, that, okay, but close enough. Okay, we've got Brian Bosworth, the washed up ex Seahawk, turned washed up action star, turned apparently born again Christian, Kim, washed up ex. The mug is beautiful. Actor. Thank you. Happy birthday, Curry. Thank you. Oh um, my God. Uh, Eric yeah. Roberts, for apparently, one, I was like, when the movie ended, like, where the fuck is Eric Roberts? And that's when he said it was in the bathroom. When it's one that's scene. okay. I went to the bathroom when apparently the mom came back to life. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Um, so, so I met, and then and then the Wonder Twins. Yes, yeah, the, 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 the uh, Nazi you know, twins. They were not Nazis. That's fair. We are not Aryan. Do you, do you I thought you know? they were together. I thought they. I mean, the yeah, last they have that movie. They have so a sexual tension. Fucking homoerotic. It's not even funny. I'm poking. I'm poking Cody and going. This is this is a, kind of a fucking gay porn film. I was thinking I'll the same thing. Like, have you heard about right Jesus? And, he, and, and then they're like, oh my god. And I, just, I honestly expected it to cut to Boz getting spit roasted by those guys. <laughs> just kind of, yeah, there, there's some finger cuffs about to happen. <laughs> Dude, tell me about it. It's but, just, it's, well, let's, okay. Ba- the basic shtick is, I, I think Bob summarized it brilliantly, which is, it is, uh, it is Red Dawn with, or it is, it is, it is Christian. It is Christian, Christian propaganda with a little bit of Red Dawn seasoning. Where you have a, bu- a family of Kevin gun Sorbo's porn. kids porn, go too. hide in the woods after a some sort of apocalypse yeah, chaos. I, but apparently sure the, the town is okay because they have the one light. So they were yeah. hiding for no fucking reason. Yeah, they were hiding. Uh, so like, like, yeah, they five kids fine. hiding in their backyard. <laughs> so the people looking for them aren't looking for them very goddamn hard. Because <laughs> they have fires. Because they have fires and they're yelling and they're shooting guns. For the three people who are looking for them, because they which can't PS, afford why? anything else. Because they're like the two guns they had. They're like, we yeah. need to take their guns. And their gun safe, which uh, apparently this is an anti gun safe part of the movie, because if they had the gun safes, Kevin Sorbo wouldn't be dead. Oh, by the way, Kevin Sorbo dies 20 minutes in the movie. Spoiler it, not even 20 We're spoiling minutes the fuck in, like, out of it. Kevin Sorbo <laughs> for the first. He, he, Brian, the movie. he Brian Cranston's in Godzilla's us, but no, not no, as no, much. No, 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 Brian Cranston, Cranston was actually in Godzilla, this, and Kevin Sorbo wasn't. That reference, Sorbo will, wasn't. That reference <laughs> is likely to come up in some reviews, but I just wanted to get it out there ourselves. It's, it's, but it's not. It's yeah. not. It's or, not an apt. Re- it's so not can, uh, apt comparison. About, uh, top top, uh, top ten of the year for you. <laughs> Fuck you, what? Cody! <laughs> uh, uh, Steven Seagal in Under Seats 2, then, right? Oh, my sure. God. Uh, this, or are we counting decision? this as horror? I'm counting it She's as counting horror. It. I'm counting it as I, horror! I made my hundred, so I'm right. Oh, my God. I, I never get in that time even, back. I just can't. I, 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 I'm just... I'm staggered. I am stunned. There is something so fucking... This is either the most Cody, incredibly ironic and Christian subtle parody. Anybody. <laughs> Amen. No, well, these movies honestly, are parodies of movie making, though. I'd say like the actual movie making wasn't that. See, this is the thing that was really cases. No, I mean, it was. But the writing is awful, and the kids the, are awful. The, the, <laughs> the technical, the technical skill with which the movie's made is actually in certain places. There Besides the fighting like, scenes whoa. and this and that, but, and not the makeup job because the makeup, the makeup job was awful. horrific. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, P.S. Can we talk about the fact that these girls are in the woods for what, like a month, two months, yeah. still got makeup and they still and got on. perfect makeup, perfect hair. Boyfriend has barely yeah. any stubble on his when face. When they woke up the next day, it's like 39 day, 30 days later. I'm like, they mm, no, this yeah. doesn't look like 30. Like, it's so about Red Dawn. Red Dawn feels like they have they've been living well, and, in a and, hellscape. And that they're wearing the same clothes, but they're still in pretty pristine condition. But I'm, I have to say, if this is supposed to be an anti-gun movie, uh, no, it, it completely fails. Part of the punch shoots it, itself in the foot. It fails itself as a gun, anti-gun <laughs> movie. It fails itself as a pro-Jesus movie because the one guy oh, yeah. who's ranting about why is this happening is the guy with the most sense. And the the girl who's talking about how Jesus is amazing the entire time comes off like someone who's just like, 
a Jesus's plan without like here's some logic and evidence thrown at you. Jesus's plan. Right, cool. Can we talk about Jesus's ask, plan? <laughs> asking for asking for reason is not giving into what you should be doing, which is being faithful and riding with the movie spell, the spell that it weaves, because it, it weaves a truly unique spell all its own. There's a point after the main character and the main dude, like the I can't remember, I'm awful with names. Johnny, when, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jesus, when Jimmy and uh, when, when Jimmy and main girl were were arguing, she said, "Oh, we lost him to useless bron- brunette sister uh, who was just there just to, to have the lines come back yeah. to her." Uh, he <laughs> says, "We lost him." I turned to Kim and say, "Yeah, to logic and reason." <laughs> all basically that that second sister should have been. Is just like a robot that just spurts she, out Bible quotes. She was absolutely fascinating to me because she she was completely like the epitome of the glassy eyed born again Christian, mm-hmm. and and she's she's played by an actress who has these ice blue eyes, and 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 her her movements and her mannerisms and her gestures are so completely forced and 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 mechanical that she felt like an alien presence. I was waiting for her to. I, I was waiting for her, you know, like, Jesus. you know, her, her to like get her head split open, and then it turns out she's a robot, like <laughs> fucking, you know, Ian, uh, uh, Ian, uh, what's his face in Alien? Yeah, um, or Ian, Ian Holm. Yeah, thank you, Ian Holm. Uh, yeah, especially to try stabbing him with the magazine. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for the movie to be done. Yeah, uh, well, the Path of it was two hours and twenty minutes. Probably special features afterwards. This is an hour and four, fifty, and I was like, how is this going to keep going? Thank God it freaking ended. Thank uh, God. Thank Bowie. Thank Bowie. Because uh, there's no God in this movie. Um, <laughs> We're the only town resisting disarmament. Yeah. Oh my God. That's, and that's the other thing. The, the, the fucking dialogue is USDA first rate choice. Ripe, overwrought shit. And it is just... It's just magical. I You wait for a movie this horrible... That, that you can that you can alternately be intensely amused by and, and and utterly just roast over any sort of coals of of like rational justification, but it defies rational justification. The movie is it, it's like I, it's indescribable. It's boring. It's okay. That too. Yeah. It, it's it's <laughs> you know, this is a problem. Silly, it's, it's a boring. gun movie and it's a boy movie, so it's boring. <sighs> See, for me, for me, at least two women on screen, you should be happy with that. For me, part of the problem was, is that I wanted it to be more parody in my mind because then at least it would, I I think I would have enjoyed it like Tony did. I just found it dull and I wanted it to be done. There was moments where I laughed because it was so ridiculous. Like the baptism scene in the river. That was pretty funny. That was, that was legit. But a lot of it was just dull and not... I mean, to me, it was like a, the sci-fi movie of Christian movies where there's like made-for-TV sci-fi movies which want to be ridiculous, but they just don't get it right. They're not fun. They're just dull. And this, to me, was just... Again, I, 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 I'm I glad that Tony got enjoyment out of it. I, I'm glad that Tony wasn't shot in the theater. Oh, you know what? This is the thing. This is the one... And this, this I will be quasi-sincere about. This is the one thing that I was uh, actually... The, the one thought that flitted through my head. I found I was wildly entertained by this fucking piece of work. But towards the end, a point kicked in where I thought people are there's somebody out there, the same people who voted for Donald Trump are watching this movie and it's feeding their delusional nature. Right, and at one point the at one point yeah. I heard somebody like shift in their seat or something and it sounded like a, the click of a pistol and I mm-hmm. thought okay, all of a sudden this movie has stopped being funny for like a split second and it's like, oh my God. Yeah. You know, and that's the difference between this and most of the other kind of um, uh, Christian propaganda films that have been, you know, proliferate, you know, since, you know, God knows when, pardon the pun. So from that standpoint, it, it, there's an unintentional... Un- gonna, there's, an underten- <laughs> yeah, there's, there's an undercurrent of unintentional, like commentary on the demographic this is legitimately ch- targeted for Jesus and guns yes exactly. guns and God and it is G-G. it is hardcore gun porn that movie is yeah. like even if it does it goes against it like so much of like how bad these people are with their with their guns yeah and, and how, how much it's like they are I did not weird. see the fact that the little kid was gonna get the gun out of Kevin Sorbo's pants and fucking shoot his sister yeah in the it's face. like that's like that's like the main I, thing and there's like Okay. Uh, this, this is, is you, like this, this is, is you pro gun. Yeah, it's like 
It's it's well, pro yeah, having I'm, a gun on your a doctor having a gun on his ankle. It's like what hospitals do you work? This thing is like we're prepared. It's like but we still have all these guns. Well, like, and not just that. It's like it's paranoid. And the it's, first catalyst incident that happens in the movie, which we involves, missed at the beginning, it inv- actually involves someone talking a guy with a gun down. So what is it proving? It's proving that if you think and you reason, maybe you can get the gun out of a guy's hand. And so to the point where is there everybody else he's, in the movie people are shooting guns and yelling at They're each completely other. subsuming the point of this gun porn movie that they're making by having that scene and there was the other scene that we were talking about where it's the opposite message. Uh, this is only telling me that we need more gun control. <laughs> well, and, and and the fact that I mean, how irresponsible everybody is with with guns, and then like when the brother starts randomly shooting because he and almost hits the mother, and you're like, and they're like, oh, we're getting friendly fire. I'm like, no, you dumbass, well, stop and, shooting your fucking guns. Well, the thing yeah, is, like when Kevin Sorbo rolls up and and saves Brian Rogers at the beginning, he just shoots the people outside there. He doesn't know the situation. Yeah, yep. he's a, he could be shooting like the good guys with the gun in this case. Uh-huh. He just rolls up and sees that people are beating on Brian Rogers and just shoots them both in the face. He's, and it's like, do we know the situation? Are you running in and just shooting people? He's, he's he has faith. He's going with his faith. He's going there, with his heart. I was, just, I was impressed faith. that there were two non-white people in the movie. They were in a oh, dream. that's what's great. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there three non-whites in the movie. Three? Yeah. Oh, I, the guy I, with I, the hat kind of... No, no, I was actually I thought, thinking of his buddy, the, the guy with the dark hair. Oh, Robbie. He looked like he might be, uh, like, like he might be Latino or Yeah, kind of. Oh. So I thought the guy with the hat was maybe a little darker in I some know. of the shots at the beginning. Halfway yeah. through, we get oh, a yeah. dream sequence yeah, but we get a fucking the, wedding. Saw, like, and it's filmed through gauze. And it's the most prominent appearance of a person of color in the movie. Because it's the only appearance to- of a person of yes, color in the movie. Yes, thank you. We've got a preacher, and we've got some woman singing, uh, singing a uh, like ballad that's so schlocky. It, wouldn't it sounded like something from the Houston room. <laughs> yeah. It sounded like the, the fuck music in the room. That's what it sounded yes. like. To me. <laughs> yeah. Well, so. Thank you, no, Ken. Just, this I'm, is the fuck music in the room. I don't know. Okay. So, it's a lost, scam. so you know, fuck five stars. Six stars for me. <laughs> Six stars. Yeah, this is this ridiculous. Kim wants to be drunk. That's what Kim wants. Kim <laughs> this is, regrets. This is our mission. When this comes out on video, we're going to get you plowed. You're going to watch this <laughs> no, movie. And you I'm will not. see the magnificence. No. We can watch a different Bangor Street. Never. Right? No, uh, Never. I do want to go back to the... Can we, I was talking about, about the kids and the little, little brother. I want to say that he particularly annoyed me because you can see him... <sighs> like You can see him like say, action. You can see him kind of come on, yep. do his stuff, and then like his line's open and he's off. You know, like like the background character in a, in a high school I play. laughed when he face planted at the end of the movie. That shit was funny as fuck. Jesus Christ, yes. And now with the Brian Bosworth's other faith, with the ghost faith, now, now, did did they adopt her from him? I was waiting. talking about you I, were in jail for whatever. It's like, so is she an adopted and he's actually, she's actually his daughter? Yeah, I was or waiting was for the big like road. Or was he like a dead, is there another she, dead faith that looks like this because living Because Kevin Sorbo didn't save his daughter is what I got from it. Oh, okay. and, then named and that's why he was daughter. angry, and that's why yeah. he was pissed at so Kevin yeah. Sorbo. So his, his daughter after his dead. Okay, I get it. But the movie's plotting and editing is so fucking muddy yeah. that there's no way of ascertaining that until the end. But I missed the like, first like, four minutes. End. So and I him saying, it. "But I lost my faith," and I'm like, "Yeah, this is but, not." Yeah, every time they said that, I was like, "Oh, I lost that. my faith." See what we did there? See, but we lost his faith. That's why I was thinking that like Kevin Sorbo's faith is his faith. Like we stole your faith. But because oh, I missed God. it. Uh, okay, so that was the thing. For reason, because then you were in jail for so long, made me think that that was. Yeah, that was that, never that, actually that, like, a plot point oh, he that, adopted I, that made your sense baby. to me. That, like, you were, you were in jail. I'm like, but why was he in jail? Did he shoot his daughter? Yeah. And then again, we should have more gun control. And we That's what I took away from so. it. <laughs> Thank you. I, don't know. I mean, and who knows? Maybe I forget the name of the writer director, but maybe this was his way of subversively sneaking in <laughs> subliminal <laughs> hints of gun control so that the rather benighted and naive humans who might actually think of this as, you know, something more than a piece of, quote, art, unquote, might. I think you're giving him a lot more credit than he deserves. Hey, you know what? Yeah. People, you know, Shakespeare just fucking wrote sitcoms, man. <laughs> as well, I'm a lot saying. of times. He wrote yeah. sitcoms, and he wrote, he wrote the Rambo just, of his day. It's just a, a fucking... Remember, someone Scream. in this car has a master's in Shakespeare. Yeah. <laughs> Come uh, at me, boy. Come at me. <laughs> but the Reliant was Cody's birthday present to us. <laughs> you uh, welcome. Yes. So uh, we and did see Kim's this. And for Kim's birthday, I'm going to make them all watch Hallmark movies. Uh, yeah. Uh, fuck yeah. Wait, if, they're, if they're half as entertaining as this, I'm all in, baby. I'm all in. And oh. next year, 
we're gonna all go see the new Dinesh D'Souza movie together. That might be over yeah. that line for me. Yeah, that 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 yeah. might that might cross the line. Can I get drunk and watch it in my house instead? <laughs> oh god. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that was a bad movie, and obviously we the enjoyed Ryan, ranting everyone. about it. Uh, you missed the beginning of our rants as we walked outside the theater, hoping we weren't getting it. So it was mostly me saying I want to be drunk right I'm now. I'm really glad that <laughs> we came in late. That way I couldn't see anyone else's faces we came in. I'm glad that we left before anyone else in the theater so we couldn't see the faces we left. And they couldn't see ours. Um, I was like, oh, we God, we agree. It's like, we got to get out of here before they I, know who we are. I was concerned us. that the el- the rather elderly people in front of me were going to clock me with a cane <laughs> or something because I couldn't stop laughing. Uh, I literally uh, could not well, stop laughing. There were four when, people who got up and left. Who yeah. left? Within the first, well, it, was, it was like 20 minutes then they got up and left. Yeah, and then maybe was, they got really bummed. Kevin Sorbo died. And then I turned around to look and see if like there, the rest of, Arabia, of their group was still it, there. It's so a little difficult to to kind of really grasp it without kind of giving a little bit of extra effort. So you know, so be it. But fair, fair. Enough. So that was a bad movie for us to watch. Maybe if you're interested, just get drunk and watch it. But really, this there's probably better things. The alcohol is mostly too. to make you forget. Uh, <laughs> the, I'd like because Cody's seen more of these than we have. Uh, I'm sure there are more entertaining versions of this before, right? Mm. I don't know. But, I um, really. not it's, saying it's Gunny, hard. but Christian movie, Christian War movies, Room. I mean, War Room. Unfaith- what an unfaithful, uh, but, you know what I, I mean? wouldn't say War Room, honestly. Yeah. War Room seems more God's serious God's not dead. Movies. Yeah. They, de- they definitely get more laughs in there, but I don't think anything's been as funny as seeing Brian Bosworth That That ending was hilarious, because it, it goes into soft light. And, and, it and making... Like, Making the kind of faces that literally look like a Saturday Night Live parody. Or hey, Or Gay Brothers. Porn. Oh, God. I like yes. the Incest Brothers. Yeah, it's like, oh, those guys are weird. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they seeing, show up. And, oh, yeah. There, there's, there's, there's some major homoeroticism in this movie. Twin Which, again, maybe there's a subversive message going in at the. And get, at the giving brothers. it too much credit. If those, guy, if those guys don't realize how gay they are, they're just complete denial. But. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm a look. It seemed there seemed like characters came in like that. We should know who they were. Like, yeah. are, the, are those are those actors? I was wondering know? if they're, they're, if they're like, like who are these celebrities? They must be some kind of. Are they Christian? Yeah, they, celebrity Christian people? celebrities. Yeah, you know what's it's, great. They had that feeling now when gotta, they showed now up. I gotta look them up. There will probably be plenty of information on. Yeah, I'm gonna go read. There's a wonderful about website them. that's like totally propagandistic and I went to their... these guys massive resumes and you know like Christian. It's like. Workout videos or wherever the fuck they're from. Who's the uh, who's the preacher dude who shows up in all the other ones, Cody? Like Father Dan or whatever. Oh, um, it might be of that. Maybe think of the same way. Like, fucking uh, is that like David Lieutenant Dan? <laughs> huh? David R. White. Yeah, that guy. But isn't he right and direct those other ones too or something? But yeah, I know he's like he, in those. Based on, of course, this is all going from Brad Jones reviews since I won't watch the actual movies. Wow, but, some of these uh, headshots are epic. <laughs> but we're going to wrap up this review because we're just going to talk about things. So. uh Thank you guys for watching this. For the five people who probably did, and the, the four people who probably watched this, like actually wanted to rant. Other ones like, "Ooh, people reviewing the Reliant." Oh wait, they disagree with me. <laughs> hey, you know, we could be, we could be getting some major hits. Hey, yeah, you know, good work out. Actual fans of the movie, I love it. Uh, no. <laughs> so, but go to cityview.com, see everything else. Remember, we're almost done with 100 days of horror. We got one week left. Oh, uh, well, now you're at 101, my friend, having just watched this piece like of horror. <laughs> Uh, but uh, we see whatever everything we're working on there after after 100 Days of Horror is over we'll probably get more things out there Cody uh, Jody Jody and I he's <laughs> Jody a real and estate entrepreneur uh, <clears throat> Tony and I both have reviews for Joker up I got one up for Jim and I man from last week so we do have some non-horror stuff going on I would rather watch a Quentin Tarantino movie than watch this again I would rather watch the Joker than watch this again but uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe like share etc etc have a good one guys God's not dead.